a timbalo di scamorza, and it starts with bread. And you want to use a rye bread or a wheat bread, something that's a bit hearty. So whatever the bread of your choice is, you need about 21 slices of bread to do three layers in a nice casserole dish. So here are my bread slices, and this is even good if you have stale bread. And all I did was layer them on a baking sheet, and then I mixed up eight eggs and one and a half cups of milk, and I poured it over the bread. And I have three more slices to do. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want this bread to absorb all of this egg mixture. So once you have your bread slices all mixed up and soaked with the bread, with the uh, egg mixture rather, the bread soaked with the egg mixture, you want to put this off to the side and just let it sit until it's very, very soft. When it is, then you can start making your casserole. And to do that, you want a nice oven proof casserole. And here is some bread that's already been soaked and you want to layer it in a buttered dish. Then you want to work with that wonderful scamorza. And here it is, remember, this is a cow's milk cheese. It's similar to mozzarella. You can get this cheese just the way it is like this, or you can get it smoked. And you remember Maria formed this cheese for us with this little knob. This is the traditional shape, but she also made it in a braided shape called a trescia. And it isn't a hard cheese yet. It's still semi-soft, but as it ages, it will get harder, and then you could eventually grate this cheese. But we're using it now in its semi-soft stage, and all we did was dice it up. So here we have the scamorza cheese all ready to go. And then traditionally with this, you want to use some type of salame. It's salame in Italian, and salame is a dried, cured product, usually made from pork. And here we have a soprasata. And you want to put on a layer of the salami. And you just continue to make layers like this. So a little bit of salami, the cheese, and then you want some butter. And here we have just cubed up butter. I just want to take a little bit of that and sprinkle it over the top. If you want to add salt and pepper to this, you can, but you've got enough salt in the salami. This is as good as it gets when it comes to country food. Put that piece there and turn that piece over and put that right there. I'm going to take the rest of this egg because we don't want to waste anything and pour it right over the top. So that's our casserole all ready to go in the oven.